Hey guys, alright? Welcome everyone. The film begins with the Amazon legend of the Tears of the Moon, a tree that holds magical powers of healing and removing any curse with a single petal from its flower. Many have traveled great distances to find it, but the most notable is the conquistador Aguirre, who was determined to possess its power. Aguirre and his men fought through the jungle that protected the magical tree until he was found by the true guardians of the tree and cared for by them. As soon as he recovered, Aguirre demanded they hand over the arrowhead, which is the key to finding the tree. The guardians refused, so the conquistador attacked them, but all he and his men got was a curse to never leave the site of the Amazon River again. McGregor can be seen recounting the legend of the tree, showing its possible location on a map. He is presenting the ideas about the arrowhead to a society that holds it along with other artifacts, and requesting access to it so he can launch an expedition, hoping to find the tears of the moon. His sister Lily, the true author of his speech, can be seen in the rafters mouthing the words. When she realizes her brother won't convince the society to give them the arrowhead, Lily takes charge of the situation, while McGregor stalls them. She sneaks into the society's halls with a map to lead her to the room with the artifacts when she encounters Prince Joaquin. The man thinks she's just looking for the assistance room, so he lets her pass. Lily enters the room and changes clothes to blend in. She manages to find the box containing the artifact and as soon as she opens it and steals the arrowhead, Joaquin is led into the room by one of the society members. He's also searching for the arrowhead, so when they open the box and see the missing artifact, Joaquin turns and sees Lily attempting to escape the room. He orders the men to stop her, but Lily manages to fight them off boldly and creatively, showing both her physical prowess and intelligence. In the end, it's Joaquin who stops her, sending Lily flying down the stairs out of the library window. She holds on tight as Joaquin loosens the rope on the steps, sending Lily even further toward the street. He asks her to give him the arrowhead if she wants his help, so Lily tosses the box to Joaquim and then descends to the bus her brother managed to stop for her benefit. Joaquim opens it only to find the arrowhead missing. The society member tries to apologize to him for losing the artifact, but the prince, upon discovering who Lily is, simply kills them all. Later, Lily and McGregor are packing to leave on their expedition to the Amazon River and find the tree, with the glorified idea that it will help them cure the world of diseases. With the whole script planned out, all that's left is to find a captain to take them down the river. The scene shifts to the Amazon some time later, where a boat is taking a group of English tourists down the river. The captain of this particularly battered boat is Frank, a con artist who has designed his entire cruise based on the premise that everything in the Amazon can kill you, just to swindle his passengers a little more. He employs all sorts of tricks and schemes to convince the tourists they're having a risky adventure, even paying a tribe to help him lie. Meanwhile, Lily and McGregor arrive at the small town on the edge of the Amazon River, where Frank has set up his operation. They are also being followed by the prince's men. She is excited to find a captain for their trip and sets out to find Nilo, who seems to own most of the boats at the dock. Nilo, on the other hand, goes to talk to Frank, who has just docked his boat, and asks him to pay what he owes. When Frank can't pay at all, Nilo takes his motor and locks it up, saying he'll return it when he pays in full. McGregor and Lily split up to find Nilo, and when she finds herself standing in front of his office, she talks to Frank thinking he's Nilo. Frank breaks into the office to steal the key, to retrieve the motor, and pretends to be Nilo talking to her, to not raise suspicion. When Lily explains she needs someone to take her downriver and that she has a lot of money, Frank opens the door. She quickly enters and immediately tells him where she wants him to take her. Frank still pretends to be Nilo while telling Lily that the place she wants him to take her is dangerous, and asks where she got the map. She probably says it was drawn by Aguirre's cartographer about 400 years ago and that it belonged to her father, who used to tell her about the legend. Frank laughs at her and proposes a different kind of adventure. Lily realizes he was trying to unlock the box with the key to his boat, so she unlocks it for him. That convinces Frank to take the job, so he takes Lily to the restaurant to seal the deal. While discussing the price of the journey, McGregor appears with the real Nilo. Lily bids farewell to Frank when she realizes she's been duped, but as she notices the arrowhead hanging around her neck, Frank recalls something. After seeing her, he's determined to have her as a client and continues lowering his price, saying he's the only one who can take her there. 
Suddenly, a jaguar enters the restaurant, and while Nilo runs to hide, Frank protects McGregor and Lily from the animal, biting it and eventually overpowering it with a stake. Frank's handling of the jaguar convinces Lily he's the right man for the job, and she hires him on the spot. Later, Frank picks up the siblings at the dock, but another problem arises. Lily is kidnapped by some men on Joaquin's orders, and Frank sails the boat away with McGregor to escape Nilo's men. Fortunately, Lily manages to quickly escape her captors through an elaborate run through the dock and is finally rescued by Frank and McGregor on the boat. As they sail, Joaquin is informed that Lily wasn't captured, so he orders his men to board with the submarine. He's determined to reach the tree because he believes it will help Germany in World War I. First, Joaquin shoots at the boat, but when that fails, he aims a torpedo at them. With a clever maneuver, Frank saves the boat from the torpedo, which passes them by and destroys all of Nilo's ships. The group escapes thanks to a rope caught in the submarine's propeller. Frank and his passengers finally head toward the magical tree. Though McGregor isn't exactly enjoying himself under the scorching sun, Lily loves every moment of being on the river. She gets excited about every creature that passes by the boat and films everything she can with her handheld camera, including the rugged Frank. He's a curious man, so he also tries out the camera, revealing a possible attraction to Lily. However, she doesn't give him much time to relax and demands he steer the ship toward a more dangerous but faster route. Frank tries to explain that the path is risky, but as Lily insists, he decides to follow her direction. By late afternoon, Frank anchors the boat for the motor to rest. After dinner, McGregor goes to bed, while Frank and Lily spend a little more time chatting on the deck and getting closer to each other. However, McGregor has an unhappy encounter with the jaguar named Proxima, and they both go up to the deck. Frank orders Proxima to calm down, and she starts licking McGregor's face. Lily gets very upset with Frank when she realizes she's Frank's pet, and any trust she might have gained in him dissipates momentarily. Meanwhile, Joaquin changes course too, intending to find the cursed conquistadors to help him find the way to the tree. When he reaches the place where Aguirre and his men were cursed, Joaquim approaches the conquistador's body and drips some river water over it to awaken him. Two snakes emerge from the body that are part of Aguirre, and through them, he makes a deal with Joaquin to find the arrowhead, so they both can get what they want. The snake swears by the agreement, and Joaquin releases the conquistador and his men from their prison. The next day, Frank and his passengers finally reach the rapids. As they navigate the dangerous waters, Frank manages to keep them afloat, and Lily insists they continue on that route, no matter how scared and terrible she feels. The boat nearly takes a crazy plunge during their journey through the rapids, terrifying them all, but Frank manages to maneuver it back to calmer waters. Even though the boat is stabilized, none of its passengers are, so they all vomit on the bow side, including Proxima. Later, as Frank and McGregor gather trees to fuel the motor, the brother confesses his reasons for joining Lily's expedition, even though he's not very adventurous like her. After realizing he didn't like women, Lily was the only one in his family to support him, and so, he follows her anywhere. Meanwhile, Lily snoops around Frank's quarters and makes a curious discovery. When Frank returns to the boat, Lily confronts him about all the materials and maps she found about the tree in his cabin, thinking he himself is after it. Frank tells her that might have been the case before, but not anymore. He says it was also his reason for coming to the Amazon, seeking its magic, though he never managed to find it. Suddenly, the boat is ambushed by one of Frank's paid tribes, capturing them all and taking them to the tribe's location. The tribe people continue with the charade for Lily and McGregor for a while, and Frank acts as the translator between them and the chief. At one point, Lily manages to free herself from the ropes and threatens the tribe members, causing the chief to end the charade. Lily and McGregor are somewhat puzzled when they find out. Moments later, Lily asks the chief to help her translate the markings on the arrowhead. She tells Lily that the markings signify that the one who seeks the moon's tear must turn water into stone and mend a broken heart. The tree must be under the rare weeping moon to produce the special flower, which, according to the woman, will happen in two days. She says that to reach the tree, one must follow the serpent that bites its own tail, an image Lily remembers seeing on the map and soon finds there. Lily thinks she can make it to the location with a canoe and without Frank, so she pays him the remainder of the money. That night, the village is attacked by the cursed conquistadors in search of the arrowhead. Frank and Lily fight against the different deformed conquistadors, not intimidated by their appearance, and manage to fend them off. 
One of them manages to snatch the arrowhead from Lily's neck and hands it to Aguirre. The Conquistador tries to flee, but Frank stops him and fights him for the artifact. Aguirre stabs him, and before he falls through the trees, he steals the arrowhead back and tosses it to Lily. The chief saves Lily and McGregor, making them descend safely and telling Lily to run out of sight of the river where the Conquistadors cannot reach her. As Lily runs, Aguirre's serpents catch up to her and snag her. But before he can do anything to Lily, the jungle drags him and his men back into the river. When the Conquistadors regroup, they realize they need Joaquin's help to reach Lily. One of Aguirre's men sends his bees to the prince to inform him of their situation. The next morning, Lily finds Frank, thinking he was dead, but thankfully, he's alive. When the chief and McGregor appear, he notices a dagger sticking out of Frank's back. Frank has no choice but to finally tell them the truth, that he was actually one of Aguirre's conquistadors. Before he can explain anything further, Lily has to pull the dagger out of his chest. When she removes it without harming Frank at all, McGregor faints after witnessing it. Lily later wakes him up to bid farewell, as she'll be traveling the rest of the journey with Frank alone. Meanwhile, the cursed conquistador's bees reach Joaquin's submarine, and he welcomes them inside. One of the bees shows him the location of the arrowhead on the map, and they manage to have a whole conversation to the astonishment of his subordinates. Back on the boat and on their journey, Frank and Lily talk about his life over the past 400 years. He tells her that he was Aguirre's best friend, so he journeyed to the Amazon with him to find the moon's tear because Aguirre needed to save his daughter from death. He worked as his cartographer, and in fact, he was the one who drew the map of the entire river. Frank followed Aguirre into the depths of the jungle to find the tree's magical petal, but once he saw what the conquistador was willing to do to the tribe that healed them, he realized he couldn't be a part of it. Frank stopped him from killing the chief's daughter, who managed to escape with the arrowhead while the chief cursed them in his last breath. Making them live forever, but they could never stray far from the river as they were always pulled back. Over the years, Frank and Aguirre fought time and time again until Frank managed to trap them in a cave where the jungle couldn't return them to the river. And for 300 years, the jungle ravaged their bodies, turning them into the monsters they are. Lily listens attentively and asks him what he's been doing for these past three centuries. Frank tells her that he built the town where she found him, gaining and losing friends along the way when he decided to seek the moon's tears. He built his boat and scoured the entire river, finding nothing until one day he just stopped searching and started doing cruises for tourists. Over the years, he found abandoned animals, so caring for them one after the other decides to name the next one next, and now the current feline is a female, hence the name next. Meanwhile, Prince Joaquin catches up with McGregor on his submarine. He takes McGregor and blackmails him to share the location of the moon's tear. McGregor shows him the location on the map, and Joaquin kills the conquistador's bees so they don't share the information with their master. As Frank and Lily sail toward the same location, he tells her what will happen when he finally gets a petal from the tree. He says he'll have two options and will choose the one that will finally grant him some rest. The next day, they reach a standstill in the river, and Lily thinks they've reached the point where water turns to stone, as indicated by the arrowhead. Frank dives into the river and finds an ancient chamber with a lever, but he resurfaces to tell Lily that she'll have the misfortune of opening it because he can't fit inside. She's a bit scared because she can't swim, but eventually Frank convinces her that there's no other way, and they dive in together. Once inside the chamber, she pushes a lever that closes the door, and when she panics, Frank gives her some extra air by kissing her. Lily manages to push the ancient lever down, while Frank is surrounded by piranhas. The water starts to drain from the cove, but Lily has no way to get out until the water is fully drained. When Frank finally reaches her, thinking she drowned, she wakes up and slaps him for leaving her there. As they dress, they realize they've found the location of the tree, but there's one more problem revealed when the rest of the water drains from the cove. Joaquim is also there with McGregor as his prisoner. To make matters worse, one of the conquistador's bees followed them, returning to report the location to the cursed men. Joaquin takes Lily's arrowhead and makes Frank take them into the cave with the tree in his steamboat. When they reach the tree, it appears to have been dead for centuries. Joaquin tells Lily to make the tree bloom because she's one of the few people who know how to do it, but when she refuses, Frank says he'll do it in exchange for a single petal. Joaquim agrees to the terms but keeps McGregor as collateral. Frank takes the arrowhead from the prince and tries to find a way to open the tree. 
When he's not immediately successful, Joaquin makes Lily help him in exchange for Frank's pedal. The two working together soon discover that the arrowhead isn't it, but rather a heart. Following the instructions, they break it open and find a magical piece inside. They place that piece on one side of the relief and the patched arrowhead on the other. The tree's magic is instantly visible as it begins to bloom in the moonlight. Once the tree has fully bloomed, Lily shoots Frank, causing him to fall back into the bottom of the cave. Joaquin sends his men to gather the tree's petals before the weeping moon sets. Meanwhile, Frank saves McGregor from Joaquin's men, and they retake the ship with a little help from Proxima. Lily jumps to the tree to grab a petal, but she can barely run fast enough to grab one when the moon sets. When she finally plucks a tear, she falls from the tree, and Joaquin is there to blackmail her again, the petal for her brother's life and hers. Suddenly, the tree begins to unravel, so she lets the petal fall and grabs the prince, saving herself. Frank manages to grab the petal too. The last thing before the adventure ends, the conquistadors arrive at the tree as well and kill the prince. They go after Lily too, but Frank shows them the petal and makes them follow him. He leaves McGregor on the surface and has Proxima stay with him to protect both him and Lily. She falls from the tree next to her brother, and they see Frank about to collide with the boat on the ancient monument. The conquistadors fight Frank for the pedal, but he manages to fight them all off as they come after him. Finally, he battles with Aguirre, who asks him for the pedal once again, but it's revealed that McGregor is in possession of it, so he can hand it to Lily. The boat crashes into the ancient monument and prevents the river water from entering the cave. The jungle takes the conquistadors, including Frank, and turns them into stone because it can't return them to the river. Lily arrives at the scene and decides to give the pedal to Frank to break his curse, leaving her dreams of helping humanity shattered. When nothing happens, she and her brother depart, with Proxima patiently waiting by her master's side. Lily hears the feline's roars, indicating that Frank is coming back to life, and seeing this happen, Lily runs into his arms. Suddenly, they see that the magical tree has gifted them with one more petal to take. Later, they return to the town and hand over the little raft they managed to use to return to Nilo. And in the final shot of the film, they all return to London together. Where Lily and Frank can be seen driving through London in a car, with Proxima in the back seat.